Today, the wheel of speed is going to build my team. Now, here's how this is going to work. The slowest wide receiver in the game is Jawan Jennings with 72 speed. And the fastest wide receiver in the game is Tyreek Hill with 99 speed. So when I'm trying to add wide receivers to this team, the wheel will only have 72 through 99 on it. Now, on the other hand, let's say I'm doing centers. The slowest center is Rodney Hudson with 47 speed. But the fastest center is Jason Kelsey with 90 speed. So the wheel for centers will be 47 through 90. Let's hop in. We're going to start with wide receivers. So I can take any wide receiver in the game, but they must have exactly... Oh, and this is not a good spin to start out. Oh, this is absolute dog water. I can take any wide receiver in the game, but they must have 83 speed. I have to get at least one wide receiver that is faster. I'm just going to straight up lose this game. So what wide receiver has exactly 83 speed? 86 overall, Justin Jefferson has 83 speed. There's our first wide receiver, but hopefully we get somebody faster faster in these next two. Our first wide receiver has 83 speed. Our next wide receiver is going to be fast. Ooh, it's ticking down, but still, it's going to be fast. 94? Hey, we'll take that. Listen, there are 99 speeds in the game right now, but 94 is, we are going to get an actual stud. I think the best 94 speed wide receiver is Debo Samuel. No way. Is there no Debo up? Oh, shoot. Well, if I can't get Debo Samuel, I really hope this wide receiver is on the auction house. Hey! He's up. 94 overall, DeAndre Hopkins has exactly 94 speed. He's got awesome stats otherwise, and he's six foot one. We got a solid wide receiver. That takes us to our next wide receiver, though. Let's see if we can continue that luck. We cannot. We cannot at all. <laughs> 70, dude, who even has 73 speed? Gosh, there's so many stud options. Who do I take? I could get Emir Smith-Marset. I could get Trent Taylor. I could get Stanley Morgan. I will be purchasing Mason Kinsey, the 73 speed, 5'11", wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans. And I want to give a huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Raycon is on a mission to prove that it shouldn't cost an arm and a leg for incredibly high quality audio. And thanks to Raycon, you'll be paying half the price for the same, if not better, earbuds. Listen, times are tough. We get that. And Raycon knows that every purchase needs to be perfect. Now, Raycon makes the incredible earbuds I'm using right now. And on top of that, they have free domestic shipping, an easy and free return guarantee, and most impressively, over 50,000 five-star reviews. And on top of amazing audio quality, Raycons have customizable sound profiles, noise isolation mode, and their water and sweat resistant, which is amazing for the gym. And that's exactly what I use my Raycons for. So if you want to pick up some incredible earbuds, you got to check out Raycon. Additionally, I can get you a discount. Click the link in the description box below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash MMG to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. Huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video, guys. Enjoy the rest. And before we move into DBs, I almost forgot. Someone had a really good idea. Rather than having all the numbers in numerical order, we should just put them randomly. That way I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to land on based on where I am at the wheel. Corners might be one of the most important positions other than safeties as well. Because if I have slow corners, I literally can't win. We're going to start out with an okay speed, I guess, 91. 91 speed is definitely scary. We're not going to get a good corner with this, but I do have some interesting options. Charles Woodson. Charles Woodson, 6'1", 91 speed corner. This card was amazing when it came out. It's not amazing anymore, but I'm happy to have that. Worst case scenario, he's a pretty solid corner. We got to get at least 94 speed or better. I think that's what I'm shooting for. 94 speed or better. We're in a lot of trouble. This is going to be 87. Yikes. Yikes, we're gonna be in so much trouble. Ugh, this sucks. This just sucks. The best 87 speed corner is 89 overall Carlton Davis, who is six foot one. Him being six foot one is actually pretty solid. We're gonna be playing zone coverage. There is no question we are playing zone coverage. I am not running man for even a second. I will get torched. Our third and final corner is gonna have. Okay, wait, this could be good. 95, keep going, keep going, keep going. Damn! Honestly, 94 is still amazing. I'm really, really glad to have that. The best 94 speed corner is gonna be who? A few minutes later. I think I definitely found it. This is actually a card I've always wanted to use, but never actually got my hands on. Richard Sherman got a Christmas legend. 95 overall, six foot three, 94 speed, 92. So that's an incredible corner card. He should be able to stop some of the best wide receivers in the game. That's my hope. I've got the wheel adjusted for all halfback speeds. So we got to go 90 plus. Or we're going to be a lot of trouble. We might get 90 on the dot. 
I can't imagine this hatback's gonna be very good, but hopefully good enough. You know, I don't know why they dropped this card so late in the season, but I'm kind of grateful for it right now. Kareem Hunt randomly got this 93 overall with only 90 speed. He's heavy, he's got good truck, good break tackle, and hopefully gets some solid abilities. Getting a 93 overall halfback at 90 speed is actually really nice, so... I'll take it. The strong safety and free safety are very crucial. One could potentially be my user. And I'll start with strong safety. We get 92 speed. I know it feels like I just cheesed that since I kind of said strong safety as it was spinning. No, you know what? No, I can't do that, actually. Since I said strong safety, I'll flip it. We'll do free safety. You know who's a great option here? The Blitz promo blessed us with a super good Minka Fitzpatrick. Six foot one with 92 speed, 93 acceleration. Really good zone coverage, really good hit power. And we will be in zone this game. There is no question about that. Our strong safety. Come on, baby. Not slow, not slow, not slow. Oh, God. Oh, oh, keep going. Yes. Yes. Holy shit. 98 speed. That's the best strong safeties in the game. This literally gives me access to the three best strong safeties in the game. That's Darren Woodson, Derwin James, and Dane Belton. But honestly, I gotta go with the fan favorite. The fan favorite is absolutely Derwin James. Derwin James team of the year is six foot two with 98 speed and absolutely cracked stats all across the board. That is a huge addition for the defense. Holy shit, we needed that. The tight end position has the same speed spread as strong safeties. Just a random fact. I'm sure you don't give a shit about. We're only gonna get an 80. Ah, darn it. We went from team of the year Derwin James to an 80 overall. What a bummer. Well, I'm hoping that a certain player I'm thinking of is available. Let's see. And the player I'm looking for isn't even on the auction house. There's an 81 overall Jelani Woods with 81 speed. Jelani Woods is six foot seven. So that would have been nice, but there is actually a high overall option, but somebody I really wasn't that interested in. 88, Will this. He's six foot four, which is kind of why I don't like him, but his stats across the board are pretty solid for only having 81 speed. So we'll get some decent blocking, some decent routes. He's utter shit. If you can't catch my tone, he's utter shit. I'm just, you know, trying to be positive and stuff. And if you notice that the wheel just got a lot more spicy, that's because we're onto the quarterback position. Quarterback position has the craziest ranges of speed. There's 71 overall Ryan Griffin with 50 speed. And of course, there's also Lamar Jackson with 98 speed. So we literally go from 50 to 98. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, our quarterback is going to come in with a speed rating of, a, you know, a 77 or 86. I feel like we could work with 86. Dude, I'm telling you, there's going to be a demon at that speed. There's going to be a demon at that speed. There's going to be a demon at that speed. One eternity later. There's got to be somebody. Oh, my God. <laughs> I found the best quarterback at this speed. You're not going to believe who it is. <laughs> There's no fucking way this is the best quarterback at this speed. The best quarterback at 86 speed is 95 overall team of the week. Baker Mayfield Scrambler. Honestly, this card's kind of crazy. I did a gameplay with this card because Baker Mayfield had that game-winning touchdown when he just got signed with the Rams. That's why he got this card. And hey, it works in our favor because we would have had to go 91 Russell Wilson if we didn't get Baker. So we'll take it. All right, let's take a little halftime here. So at intermission, here's our squad. We got Baker Mayfield and Kareem Hunt in the backfield. I got D-Hop, Justin Jefferson, and Mason Kinsey. And I got Will Disley at tight end. Now on defense, we got Minka and Derwin James, which is actually a nasty combo. Richard Sherman, Charles Woodson, CB2, and Carlton Davis, CB3. We're a 90 overall. I mean, I, I really am sad about wide receivers low-key. D-Hop already might get just totally boxed by the 99 corners in this game. So what is that going to say about Mason Kinsey and Justin Jefferson? I don't know, but let's go fill out the rest of this team. Next thing I'll spin for is my middle linebacker. Then we'll go with our outside linebacker. So my middle linebacker, the user, 93. No! Dude, I really thought that was going to sit. Are you kidding me? My middle linebacker is going to be Cody Barton. 72 speed, 76 acceleration. Hey, this is horrible. This is no bueno. At all. Next up is a right outside linebacker. We can only hope that it is better than our middle linebacker, and it doesn't look like it's going to be by much. Oh my god, my linebackers are shit. The best thing I can offer our team is 84 overall Preston Smith, who's 6'5", 265 with 78 speed. He's honestly so much better than Cody Barton, so that takes us to left outside linebacker, please. Just one, just one stud, right? One stud. 
82 speed. I, I mean, it should be a big improvement. Dude, we're building a little, little Packers linebacker core because I think my best option is Rashawn Gary. 88 overall, Rashawn Gary. Six foot five, 82 speed, 86 XL. We slowly improved on linebackers, but we went from dog shit to like a little bit less dog shit, I guess. Next up is D-line. I think if I can get one insane edge rusher, we'll be all right. We'll start with left end. It's gonna get 78 speed as well. My only hope is that since left ends, generally speaking, are slower anyway, there might actually be like a god at 78 speed. 78 speed, it's a start because we do get a 90 overall Sebastian Joseph Day with really good block shed. I mean, out of my last four spins, he is the best, so we'll take it. All right, we're spinning for right end next. I think we're going to need 85 speed or higher if we want to be competitive. 89, 89 could actually be, oh, dude. Yes! Like, Nick Bosa has, like, 92, and he's one of the best ends in the game. So I'm thinking 89. I'm thinking we could get at least a 96 overall. Yes! Guess who has exactly 89 speed? The 97 overall limited Super Bowl legend Frank Clark has 89 speed, insane stats, insane abilities. This is such... Oh, that was huge. We needed this so bad on our defense. All right, so Derwin can hold the skies. Frank Clark can get to the QB and our linebackers can just get carried by them. That's the hope here. Next up is our D tackle and we'll have finished defense here. Our D tackle, wow, 78, 82 is a popular range right now. Ooh. Unfortunately, there are not a lot of options at D tackle at 82 speed. There's only four D tackles in the game with that speed. Luckily, there is 88 overall Milton Williams D tackle for the Eagles with exactly 82 speed. It's honestly not very good but could have been a lot worse, I suppose, right? 88 overall is not bad. Now we move back to offense. And before I do O-line, I've got to spin with this speed tiers because we're going for fullback right here, which also has a crazy range of speeds. There's honestly a chance there's not even a fullback with this exact speed, but we're going to go find out. So there was not a fullback with exactly 73 speed, but the closest was Kyle Juicy Juice with 75 speed. Now, all right, gentlemen, that leads us to our offensive line. We'll start with a left tackle. Honestly, these speeds need nothing to me because I don't know what's good and what's bad. And oh my God, what a popular number. 82, anybody anybody betting 82 on roulette? Yes, I understand that's not how that works. Fuck you. There is nobody with exactly 82. The closest player is Colton Miller with 81 speed. There it is right in the middle of general 81 speed for Colton Miller. That moves us to left guard. I believe the tackles are the absolute slowest in general. Uh, I think overall they have the slowest, but our left guard's gonna have 60. Six. Oh my god. 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 You are not gonna believe who has exactly 66. <laughs> Team of the year. Quentin Nelson. Take a look at attributes. Scroll down to speed. 66 speed for 98 overall Quentin Nelson. That's insane. We're spinning for center now. We're gonna get 84 speed, which after seeing Jason Kelsey, that is that is a pretty good sign there, but we'll just have to see. There is exactly one center in the game with 84 speed. And it's a pretty solid center. Ooh, unfortunately, he's not actually on the auction house. It's 91 overall Tyler Linderbaum. And the next closest is actually slightly better. So this this does work out in my favor, but it's not better by so much that I think this is unfair. Scott Questenberry, 93 overall, Easter Center, has 83 speed. Our right guard is spinning next, and it is mega fucking slow. Ugh. There are two right guards in the entire game with exactly 51 speed, and this guy is one of them. Oh, that is so shitty. Jamari Salier, the 51 speed, 71 overall rookie right guard for the Chargers. Are you shitty? That leaves our right to tackle. This is actually the final spin of the episode. Let's see what our right tackle speed is going to come in at 78. Listen, man, that's already so much better than the 51 I was just dealing with. Oh, he's not on the auction house either. What a bummer. There's a 96 seven overall forest greg with exactly 70 speed and he's such a monster although there is a very good option close by so panay sewell has a 93 overall with 71 speed so we're gonna take the 93 overall panay sewell let me build out the rest of this team now wait a minute i thought i was done i just filled in everything i don't have a punter or a kicker we'll start with a kicker and the speed we just got is 91 wait holy shit 
The Lions kicker, Michael Badgley. Dude, he must have ran a, a nasty fast 40 or something. He's the fastest kicker in the game. Michael Badgley has 90 speed and 92 acceleration. Bro, he's zooming. That's a Matt Maher kicker right there. So who's going to punter be? A slow or fast? I don't know if it really matters. I just want a good punter, especially because I won't use him. It really doesn't matter. Holy shit. Is anybody's favorite number 82? That shit has hit like five times. Oh my fucking God. You are shitting me. The 96 overall punter Drew Brees has 82 speed. He's also most likely a significantly better quarterback than Baker. All right, the team is assembled. We are in 89 overall. My offensive line is nasty. Backfield's okay. Wide receivers are okay. Tight end sucks. Linebackers are trash. D-line has Frank Clark. And my secondary is actually pretty good. Now let's set some abilities. On offense, I got Baker Mayfield with dashing dead eye and set feet lead. Kareem Hunt has leapfrog. And Quentin Nelson has identifier post up and nasty streak. Now on defense, I just loaded up Frank Clark and loaded up Derwin James. Frank Clark has edge threat, under pressure, and double or nothing. Derwin James has mid zone, deep zone, and pick artist. I do have three AP to spare. I think I'll give it to Richard Sherman. We'll give him deep out zone KO for one, pick artist for free. And lastly, we can give Minka pick artist and deep out zone KO as well for only two AP there. And now defense is ready to go. All right, gentlemen, the wheel of speed has concluded. Let's see if we can go get a dub with this squad. My opponent has. Oh, God. He's got the 99 speed Tyreek. That's what we were talking about at the start. Our biggest roadblock, honestly, is we do not have a standout offensive weapon. We have standout defensive players. But who's my standout offensive weapon? Let's see if we can get D-Hop open. Let's just see how brutal this actually is. Uh, Cream Hunt is kind of open here. Ooh, okay. Okay. Ow. Okay, I didn't fumble. That's all that matters. This is a cover one, but who is on Will Disley? Oh, he's open! Will Disley! Great downfield block. Good move. I'm gonna motion DeAndre Hopkins. Dude, a big problem right now is I don't have Hot Route Master. I can't even give the boys the routes I want to give them. Oh my god, that blitz was so fucking cheesy and fast. That was so stupid. And this is man coverage. Maybe D-Hop can get him on this route? Let's see it, D-Hop. Oh, good route, D-Hop. Yes, sir. A great whip route. Solid downfield blocking. Could have been a lot worse. You know what? I'm taking the field goal. Getting three points up here is a beauty. That was very solid offense. Ooh, Badgley. And you know what? Like I said, we got a solid kicker. Michael Badgley is going to drill it. Three points on the board on our first drive. I'm not that mad. If anything, we're going to win this game with defense. Like, defense is going to have to be our offense kind of deal here. Let's just start out with a little zone blitz here. I got Cody Barton in the middle, baby. He throws a nice pass, gets lit up by Derwin. I'm not blitzing again, man. We got no pressure there. He passes out to the halfback. Gus the bus going crazy. That guard is so good. What do you got here? I'm going to go on Derwin on this one. Going to go try and blow this up. Presumably a stretch to the left. Stupid. Oh, it's play action. Fuck, he got me as a touchdown. Oh. <gasps> Did you see that touchdown he missed? I know you guys are professional backseat gamers. You definitely fucking saw that. I pulled Derwin out of that. Ooh, we got bailed out right there. I'm gonna blitz Cody Barton here. Oh, we got one through the middle. Oh, he still completes that. What a, that was a really good pass. That is play action. Drop back, Derwin. Come on, Derwin. Come on, Derwin. Oh, I just couldn't get to it. Shit. Derwin's fast, but he's not that fast. You gotta be 105 speed to go make that play right there. Play action for sure. Oh my God, it's not. Oh, we're in so much trouble. Wow. Does he just do that same thing? He doesn't. He's passing. He's got nothing. Where are you throwing? Oh my God, am I subbing Mel Blunt? <laughs> That's like my deep slot corner or something. He's not supposed to be on this lineup, but Madden is forced to sub in players if it doesn't have players to sub in. See, you know what I needed there though? I needed to pick six. I needed to pick six that because I don't know if I can dig out of this. <laughs> Look at this shit. Like, what is that? How's a guy come off completely untouched? All right, we're going to try to run the ball because this is a nightmare right now. Jesus Christ. This is literally my worst nightmare. This this kind of man coverage right now. This is why we needed a fast receiver, man. I really like D-Hop. It's nothing against D-Hop, but when you're playing gold 99 corners and they are press covering you with man coverage, you just take a fucking beating. That's just how it goes. I'm going to see if I can get Megatron here. Ooh, what was that route? What was that route? I thought that was a corner route. I have no idea how that worked. That's also my sub-in wide receiver, Megatron. My problem right now is definitely getting the ball in the end zone, especially against this defense. What a brutal man coverage. I mean, it's a nice man coverage, but if I just had a good team, it's not that good. It's very beatable. Ugh. 
shit comes in so hot. That's just fucking crazy. Ooh, D hop, nice catch. Fourth and four. I'm gonna go for this. I wonder if Baker could scramble one of these in. What about Disley here? Disley's open! What a catch! Will Disley! Let's go! Dude, how do we get in the end zone though? Let's get in the end zone. Let's get in the end zone. Nobody's open. Thank God that wasn't intentional grounding. That is crazy. Absolute screamer. It's actually suggesting I punt. I kind of don't mind this. I have Drew Brees punter. I could punt dot here. And he's not going to call a timeout. I really could punt dot here. I don't know exactly how this punt's supposed to look. I might have just gave it too much power, but let's see how good this is. Uh -huh. Oh, no. That's through the end zone. Shit. I tried to put that out of bounds. That is not a punt dot at all. He'll take the whip route and get out of bounds most likely. Wow. And he's still going to get out of bounds. Are you kidding me? That sucks ass. That's horrible. Hey, oh, sad. We got through the middle. Milton Williams. Second and 16. That's a huge play. He throws middle. Is he in field goal range right there? I think that actually is. I think that is field goal range. He might just come out here and kick field. Wow. I am very shocked by this decision. Oh, wait a minute. Hold him up. 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 No way. Really? He got that timeout off? Damn. I honestly thought he might have accidentally used so much clock that he didn't get that, but he'll get a nice field goal here. I don't think I can score a touchdown with this team. It's honestly a bummer, but doing these team builders this late in the Madden season, I don't want to say impossible, but it's really, really hard to beat these gold 99 corners. It's really hard. I'm stuck on Barton. Now I get stuck on Dogby. Oh, wait a minute. Nice ball. Oh, I can get to this. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, I tried to bait him just a little bit. Get risky, make the turnover. And I think I was literally a split second short from getting that. That's a bummer. I got to find my way in the end zone now. I'm going to try a zone alert Omaha. How will this look? I'm going to hand this off to nope. Kareem Hunt. And we are going nowhere. Yikes. Ooh. Oh, nice catch. D-hop, go. Did you get the first? No. Nope. Ah, it's fourth and inches. I'm going for Disley. Oh, no, he's there with John Madden. <laughs> oh, my God, what a play. Yo, respect. I did not see him switch to his D tackle. I don't even know if he meant to. Dude, I don't know how I'm going to do it for these team builders. I feel like I don't have the option for my team to be this bad. Are we just guaranteed lose, I guess? That's no fun. I would have to play a six-year-old to win this game. Anybody know any six-year-olds who want to get worked in Madden? Ooh, you're going to leave. Oh, it was perfect accuracy. It was literally perfect accuracy. And he missed it. Could we pick this up on fourth and ten? I'm going for Jefferson. Nope. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he's got Brock Purdy in at QB. I kind of respect that. Look at Brock Purdy. Throws a laser. Derman James got torched twice now. That's tough. See what he's got for the two point. Oh, it's just laser after laser. All right, gentlemen, 24 to 3. I'm going to call it. I think I've uh, I think I've seen enough. So I had three total rushing yards, 88 passing yards, four first downs. I had more kick return yards than him. You can chalk that up as a W. Do you guys have any good ideas for this? Because I love doing these team building videos. But unfortunately, we are at a point in the season where unless I have at least a semi-viable team, there is literally no way to compete. Against man coverage with Disley, Justin Jefferson, Mason, Mason D hop. <laughs> it's just not gonna fucking happen. It's just not gonna happen. Hey, either way, I love you guys. No complaints from me. I love making the videos no matter what. I just want to know what your guys' opinion on this is. But regardless, I'm gonna keep cranking out heaters. I love you guys. Thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.